Welcome back. It's Kasim and John with Suits from Zate, and uh, we're coming at you with some some Google ninjiness. John, what are we talking about today? The, probably the most ninjitsu of ninjiness. Um, being able to block specific people from seeing your ads, even if they're searching your keyword. Oh, wow. So this is really, really cool. Uh, there's going to be some times where you'll have specific audience members. Maybe it's the wrong gender, maybe it's the wrong household income, maybe it's the wrong... Um, careful, John, careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it could be uh, anything that you want to block. Yeah. I mean, pretty much anything. But unfortunately, they do only give you two gender genders in Google Ads. So uh, more are probably going to be coming soon. But anyway, um, there's going to be some, some demographics that you want to push away, even if you're bidding on a keyword and even if they're searching that keyword, there just might not be the right fit for your business. Uh, and let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start my screen share here. All right. And what you're going to see on the screen is a lot of just crazy info. Um, you'll have, uh, this is a client that we are generating leads for who need to have their debt consolidated or reduced in some way, shape, or form. And the strategy here is they want to have people with only above $10,000 in debt as a lead. The people that have below 10,000, they have a hard time monetizing those, those people. So the strategy was, how do you push away people that have above $10,000 uh, in, or sorry, push away people that have below $10,000 in debt and capture the ones that have above $10,000 in debt. And they're both Googling the same keyword. So, you know, for example, one of our keywords that we've been on, we've been on a, quite a few, one of them is, you know, debt consolidation, a very obvious one. And how do you take two people, one has under 10 and one has above $10,000 in debt, and they both Google debt consolidation. How do you, how do you filter out which ones you want? It seems almost like an impossible task. So there's a few things guess. that we did. Hmm? Can I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's actually, it's a, it's not, it's a not, I'll, I'll get rid of the trick question. It's a two part uh, answer. A two part answer. So I got to imagine you're using, uh, you're using negative audiences, right? Mm -hmm. That's the only part I know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. And uh, I'll go through the first one. And then I'll save the best for last. So you have to watch the video to the end. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, perfect. So looking at the uh, demographics, we find that the, let um, me go here to household income. Hopefully this will be pulled up on screen. We have too many. Uh, let me see if I can just kind of uh, adjust this all together here for one moment. There we go. Um, so you'll see that the bid adjustments, we put negative 70% bid adjustments on people that have the income range of 31 to 40%, 41 to 50%, and everyone lower 50%. So we're basically only attracting the top 30% of income earners in the United States. That makes perfect sense because those are the people that would consider, I mean, $10,000 to those people isn't debt. So right. they would be under $10,000 in debt. That makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Now this was already leveraged from some additional research through this client and their partners that they already had kind of a target demographic. And so we, within the first month said, okay, we got a good data point. Now let's, what if we remove 70% of those people? What would happen? Um, and without kind of going through a bunch of data and everything and, and sharing all of the information, you can see on the screen, you know, our, our we have 17% conversion rates and, or sorry, 33% conversion rates and $17 cost per conversion. So it's, it's working really, really well. Um, but what we found is that the quality of lead post conversion was, was much higher. Uh, and I can give you some statistics on that uh, here. Uh, you'll see on, Open this up. You'll see over here, these are types of conversions. So this one's a, someone who submitted a form that said they had under $10,000 in debt. And this is someone that filled out a form and said they had above $10,000 in debt. And if you go to uh, all enabled campaigns, the above 10,000, we have 256 conversions and the under 10,000, we have 105. So, and this is just from th so far this month. And so you can see that, um, we spent a grand total of $7,800, generated 256 of the types that he wants and 105 of the type that he doesn't want. We've been moving more towards reducing that and a good, you know, 60, 40, 70, 30 split is good. He can monetize the under 10,000, but they're just not as lucrative. So we're trying to make that ads more valuable. Um, so removing those people, uh, the lower 30% income earners and below, 
and say, we don't want 70% of you because we do find that there is sometimes they do have over $10,000 in debt, just not generally. So generally we just removed it by 70%. The cool part about this is it's not really a big known, known strategy. Most people think that um, you can only not target a person or hey, target these people, but don't target those people. You could bid on a keyword and have the masses start to search for it, but only say, unless you're the type of person or the type of situation or in a certain demographic or certain geographic or even certain psychographic, uh, if you have any sort of audiences that have an affiliate or affinities, um, you can actually say, if you're this person searching that keyword, show an ad to you. But if you're that type of person searching this keyword, don't even have me show up. And so what's cool is you can take all of that inbound traffic and only and pre-qualify them even before they make it through the front door, um, which is a, it's, it's a great strategy. It goes beyond targeting. Now we're selecting the people who can find us, even if they're bidding on our, on our keyword. So it's a pretty it's a pretty awesome ability to be able to do that. This is absolutely brilliant. So I just want to pause on something. This is probably another video, but I love that the conversion actions are split up according to the way the client is qualified. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining that this is the same form, and you're just tracking the conversion action based off of the direction the form goes. Well, the form's like a ten part form, not ten, but there's like ten fields. It's like name, email, phone number, how much debt do you have, blah blah. blah. And they select how much debt you have. And depending on what they select, we get to see that here in Google. So if they said, I have under $10,000 in debt. Okay, great. Or if they select, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 by 40, it just gets counted as a different conversion. Um, so we get to see the keyword, the ad, the, you know, the ad group, the campaign, the, all of those type of demographics um, that are associated with all those people all laid out to which way do they go left or right. Um, and then, the reason why we set it up this way was to use the part two of this strategy. And this is where it gets really, 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 really interesting. You'll notice that we have calls from ads under $10,000 in debt and above $10,000 in debt and something called offer form completions. And you'll see the conversions are not having any calls and any uh, under 10. They only have over 10 and they have no offer form completions. In the conversion tab, what we're doing is we're saying only count the above $10,000 in debt as a conversion. Everything else don't count as a conversion. Now calls for ads are important and offer form completions are, are important, but why did we do this? Why are we only counting one type of conversion? That's what you want Google to optimize for. Exactly. We're using the target CPA bidding strategy. So target cost per lead. We said, I want to pay $27 per qualified lead. Wow. And our cost per conversion is $30. We're really, really close. Um, if we actually go back because of delayed attribution, and if you haven't watched that video, shame on you. You'll have no idea what I'm talking about. Pause here, go back and watch the other video. <laughs> but if you look at a little bit of a delayed attribution, kind of taken off the last few days. Um, oh, target cost per conversion is now lower. It's at 29. So it's even closer to that $27 goal. So we're only about $2 off for the exact type of qualified conversion that we have. And what's nice about this is we had 70 um, leads that came in that we really can't monetize. That's okay, they're not even counted. That cost per conversion is only going towards our good leads. So we really have about a, you know, I don't know, $17 cost per lead or $18 cost per lead and about a 60% or 50% conversion rate. But if we only count the ones we want, we're getting 28% conversion rate on the ones that we want and within our target goal that we want to send, that we want to spend. This is brilliant. Yeah. So if, if, if you can imagine having being a Google ads agency and says, anybody searching, only give me the people that are qualified. I, I only want to pay this. We were able to do that using the strategy. There's a minimum spend, I imagine, that you'd have to really put into something like this, right? Like you have to have so much data. Yeah, not, not too much. I mean... Looking at when we started with this campaign here, Debt Consolidation, you'll see Solutions 8. Um, this campaign started March 16th, so it's only like two months old, um, or two and a half months old. So we got a lot of data here. You can see from March 16th through March 31st, so ran two weeks, got what we needed, and just been kind of chugging along ever since. Um, and we, we've only spent 11000 we've only spent $12,000 so far since you know, March 16th in this whole campaign. And on average, we have 30% conversion rates. Yeah, this is brilliant. I love this. So if you're watching, you now know how to only pay for qualified leads in Google. Yeah. And on search.
which yeah. is crazy because you can't dream. do that, you know, with any other strategy that I know of. I mean, Facebook and, and organic and direct and email, like you can't really pre-qualify who's coming to your site. This way we can pre-qualify before they even get there. Um, pretty cool stuff. That's brilliant. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do the things. I mean, we're doing this every day. We're giving you an immense amount of value. And if you subscribe, then you get a little ding every time. I'm, I'm tired. Please make this worth it. Yeah, no joke. It, it <laughs> awesome. Uh, John, thanks as always. Uh, folks watching, we'll see you next time. Thank you.